people that are so close-minded that they come to the conversation with their mind completely made up, but pretend they want to have a discussion with you. You see it all the time out there in social media. Let's have the conversation. You don't want to have a conversation. You want to lecture me. If you've already made your mind up that things are hopeless in this direction and you want to stay right here, then fine. I really don't know why you would even want to watch my content. I would much prefer to have conversations with people who are a little bit more open-minded and are trying to work out what they want, what's more reasonable. But if you come to the comment section already having made your mind up and you know exactly what life's about in, the, in these topics, I don't know why you watch the open-ended conversation I tend to have on my channel. There's nothing I can offer you other than rolling my eyes and ignoring you. But if you're asking me a legitimate question and being respectful, I'll have a conversation with you. I would agree with you about generally what the world and women are like. And I was there. You provide me with all this general evidence with what the world is like. And I will agree with all of your general evidence. But if I provide you, if I talk about my personal evidence, the evidence here in my life, what I've chosen, which is the exception to everything out there. But I'm providing you with logical, sane, rational, calm evidence of how I chose things and how I disregarded uh, the world and women in a way and kind of just tried to curate uh, a, a very simple, clean life here. And I'm giving you the evidence of here. You won't listen to that. So you've already made your mind up that the world is your world. But the world is not mine and you won't even have a conversation here. So do me a favor and stop wasting your breath. I don't know why you watch my channel. But for the rest of you, 99% of my subscribers, thanks for watching. And let me know if you experience this where you can't have a conversation. A person has already made their mind up. And no matter what you say, you could tell them, I don't want to have kids. And they just say, but why? But why? And they just, they, they cannot see any point of view other than their own. And they're just convinced in their feelings that you're wrong and you're stupid. And because they can't get you and they fail to kind of be empathetic and see it maybe from your point of view a little bit. Do you come across these people? They're, they're the kind of uh, people in the comments section that really I don't care about. They're not in my life, but I don't really know why they're there and why they're pretending to you know provide feedback or, or talk because they're not they want a mirror and i want to talk to people in in a very relaxed open uh conversation even if we disagree so let me know your comments below this video what's been your experience with people that are so close-minded that they come to the conversation with their mind completely made up, but pretend they want to have a discussion with you. You see it all the time out there in social media. Let's have the conversation. You don't want to have a conversation. You want to lecture me. Just like all the woke social crap out there. And when they come to the comment section, they want to lecture you. They don't want to have a conversation with you. Their way is right. And you're an idiot until you agree with everything they say. And frankly, I don't know why those people watch my channel or comment in the comment section other than they want attention. I would just say, start your own channel, please. I might not watch it. I may watch it, but I'm not going to sort of comment in the comment section and try and put you down. Uh, so anyway, that's the heart of the frustration I have with people in my private life or people in the comment section that they've already made their mind up and they're pretending to have a conversation, but what they want to really do is lecture me. And I'm pretty sure I try my best not to do that with any of you. I'm not trying to be better. I'm not saying because I found happiness in my life in a certain area. There's lots of places in my life where I'm still frustrated and working things out, but I'm not angry. And if you want to lecture me, go somewhere else. All right, I'll catch you next time. Bye. I think there's something in that.